Nico got the hops from me, 100%. Yeah. I'd like to argue that. <laughs> he can't. But I can't. He can't. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't dunk, did dunk till I was in, uh, probably a junior or senior in high school, and I was six, seven. Just the way he carries himself on the court is, is rare. I'm a pass first point guard. I like to get my teammates involved. I'm very unselfish, but I can get a bucket or two if I need to. Other teams, their number one thing is to try to slow him down one way or the other. Let him score and stop everybody else or try to stop him. Neither of us worked very well because he's such a great passer that he can change the game with his passing. The one thing about him though, he's competitive. He's a great competitor, so as long as you throw a ball out and they're keeping score, that's what motivates him. He started playing when he was in third grade, but he wasn't very good. His first game, he scored for the other team. And it was funny, because we got in the car afterwards, and, and the guy said to him, Nico, did you hear everybody yelling? And he said, yeah, they were saying, go, Nico, go. But no, everybody was yelling, no, no. Nico, no, because he was going <laughs> the wrong way. Nico's ability to learn really puts him above a lot of, not just players his age, but even a lot of professional players and collegiate players that I've worked with. He picks up on things incredibly quickly. We could discuss a, a move that, that Kyrie Irving did, and he could pick that move up immediately. See, five years from now, I see myself as either my second or third year in the league. I mean, a lot of guys say they just want to make it, but I want to be like one of the better guys to ever play the game. I want to be the all-star, I want to win NBA championships, stuff like that. I mean, hopefully I can get to college, play a year, and maybe get a national championship. Who knows, that's, that's always the goal, just to be winning. And, so you as far as you can. You want to be one and done. Yes, sir. It's good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Good see you too. Good see you. I'm going to do the sides of one and a half. If you want me to like do them shorter, just let me know. Shit. His style, he has the craziest style I cut. I cut like a lot of crazy people's hair or their hair, but his hair is just like different. He just got the the, the dopest out of me. Cause his hair is just so many different. It's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? He got the curls up here. And he could really do whatever he wanted with his hair. I like the way he's going. I like the style. It's like some Roman, like, God shit. You feel me? <laughs> I just don't like her voice. Her shit dope. You like her music? Yeah. Some of it. It's all right. Yeah, Nico can freestyle if you didn't know. This guy's a music connoisseur. He knows everything about music. He just knows, he knows all the I best just know music. Lot, yeah. He knows all the, he has a taste for, a ear for music. Crunch. Uh, a Boogie, NBA Youngboy, Drake, and me. You about to have the coldest beard though, I'm telling you. About to be like a ginger James Harden. Yeah. I haven't gone to like any basketball games since I graduated high school besides bros. Yeah. That shit's been fucking. You feel me? Exciting. I try to go to all of his games. I went to the Brophy game and uh, they had took over. He took over. He had like in the fourth yeah, quarter. That was, yeah. I don't even know. In a row. Yeah, 23 points in the fourth quarter. Yeah. It's my favorite guy to watch. I ain't gonna watch. But yeah, bro. That was one of my favorite things like, just to see him like take over a game. Like that shit was tight, I ain't gonna lie. At a young age too, yeah. just running fast break, pop threes, a minute left, you know what I'm saying? Some people fall under that pressure. He wanted that shit, so. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks, bro. You know. Alright, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna text you. Yeah, alright, bro. Alright, one, one. Alright, thanks. Someone count down. Three, two, one. Seven. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 I'm not doing it, bro. What happened to Calvin? He lost one of the odds. He got eat a, like a no, what are the odds? hot dog. So like, you, you say what like, are the odds that you do this, and then I say like one to twenty. And then on count three, down we, from three. Someone counts down from three. <laughs> on like go or whatever, we both say a number between one and twenty. And, and I had to say the same, same number. I guess the same number. So you got to eat. Are you on the game? No, bro. That's good. I don't think I need that is so cool. You guys say shout out. Shout out. Shout out. You guys. Oh! 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 Ah! 
you know, sometimes the clout can get to people, I guess. And being around them, they just make it 10 times easier. Like, they don't let anything get to my head. I mean, if I'm messing up, they're, they're on and making fun of me, giving me crap about it. How long have you guys been together, you ain't asked around yet? <laughs> Like four or five months. Four, four or five months. months. Oh, Fearless on the court, God, but with, with the girls, it's something different. It's like no, it's, it's, it's still official. It's just it's, it's, what's official? It's not, it's not official. official. You have not it's asked official, her out. Though. No, it's yeah, not. How is it official? Please tell me. Have you said, said will you be my girlfriend? No. No. Here. End the conversation. See how disrespectful they are. Like they got no confidence in me. Oh, got a bite. Peep, peep, peep. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, oh my bro. You see that? that? They're playing with me. I, I just did. I'm really not gonna catch anything. Scalab I, like the only two I could think of are Scalabrini and Matt Bond. Nico trying to be the best ginger ever. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm gonna be very mad if I don't get a catch today. So frustrating. Oh my gosh. I think something's messed up with the hook, bro. Definitely the hook fault. It's kind of an unsuccessful day. Didn't get a single catch. We got a bunch of bites, but couldn't capitalize. We'll be back. He's getting a little workout in with the Red Mamba. It is what it is. So this is burrata, cherry tomatoes, and then we're going to put truffle oil on it. Zeus is not for you. This is called stracci toscani. It's a recipe from Tuscany. Look how cool is the pasta shake. Never have enough in all of them. Best memories I have in the kitchen, you know? In the kitchen we used to have, they were like small kitchens. The stove was about this big. I don't even know how my grandma used to cook in those stores. It's just all we do in Italy. We eat. We yell at each other a little bit, and then we drink a little bit of wine, and everything's fine. <laughs> this is lemon chicken piccata. Did you jump, Sam? I was not jumping all the way. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough, enough. Can I post it on Twitter real quick? No. 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 Phone's in the middle, covered up. Go ahead. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. This is homemade mascarpone with strawberries, with lemon, sugar, and balsamic production. It's Nico's and Chini's favorite. There's something special in the Italian roots. That's why Nico's a bucket. Keep it a secret, though. That's to stay low key. One last thing I'd like to add is just a couple thanks just to my parents, my family for supporting me. My AAU director, Ryan Silver, he's not even just a director to me, he's, he's like family. He comes over, he eats at the house sometimes. Coach Vaughn, Coach Brendan, Coach Wild, they're always, I mean, more off the court than on the court, they're there for me. Um, so I'd just like to thank those people. 